What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today's video we are going to be giving the feedback on the Scorpion XO R1 Air. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the team over at Scorpion. They gave us the opportunity to demo a Scorpion R1 Air. The R1 Air is outfitted with an air fit system. The air fit system is going to be a set of bags on each side of the cheek line that pairs with a pump on the inner portion of the chin that you can depress it and it's going to fill those bags up with air which is going to give you a more custom style fit because it's going to secure the helmet and the pads closer to your jawline giving you a much more secure fit. If you're unfamiliar with helmets and helmet sizing, you don't want a loose helmet, but why? In the event of an accident where if you do fall, the helmet's gonna move and not give you the protection that's needed in order to prevent any major injury. And with the AirFit system, it takes that secure fit to just that next level, which I came to appreciate because paired with the inner liner that feels amazing, extremely comfortable and soft, that the AirFit system provides that slightly more custom fit feeling the price point for this comes in at approximately $450. For that $450, you get not only a clear visor, which comes standard with most helmets, but you also get a tinted visor with it, along with a pin lock system screen. We've been riding with this helmet for approximately two to two and a half weeks. We have approximately 1,500 miles underneath our belt with this helmet. You do have three vents, two visibly from the external of the helmet. You have one here up top on the cranium and then one that's underneath this GoPro mount, as well as another one on the interior part of the chin. We went ahead and outfitted this helmet with a Cardo Pack Talk Bold, as well as with a GoPro MX mount, so that way we can get a full feel on how the helmet would feel with our similar setup that we run on our other helmet, the Bell SRT. We run a Bell SRT helmet, which is approximately 3.8 pounds, let's just call it four. We had a Cena 50S, as well as a GoPro mount, so we wanted to mirror the setup as close as possible. And I have to say that the weight difference between the, the Scorpion XO R1 Air versus our Bell SRT, it could be minimal on paper, but I definitely noticed a difference long term. Where earlier last month, we went down to South Texas, which is approximately 360 miles, which equivalents to about five and a half hours ride time. And there is nothing to block the wind. You're just going down straight on I-69, which was paired with a rather windy day. By the time we had come back up to North Austin, our neck the following day was rather tired. It was a little sore, and which would attribute to having a heavier style helmet and then plus the added GoPro and then the Bluetooth where it adds a little bit more wind buffeting, a little bit more weight. The really cool part was that Scorpion hit us up asked us if we would be interested in demoing a Scorpion X to R1 Air and possibly going back to Scorpion helmets to see what our two cents would be. Since we've had the opportunity to run the Bell SRT, we've had two of those. We also had a Bell Race Star, and then we we're also running an AGV K6 for track purposes. That has been designated as our track only helmet. That during our exchange of messages, they said, check it out, let us know what you think, and if you don't like it, awesome, just give us your feedback and we'd be greatly appreciated. Which is really awesome. They weren't trying to push me towards going back to Scorpion, now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the inside of the helmet to give you all a closer look on what the interior liner is as well as those airbags. And then it also comes with a chin guard which is gonna remove to allow you the opportunity to see that air fit system. Here is the, this red circle is gonna be what you depress in order to fill up the air fit system that's lined on, the, on both sides of the cheek. Once you fill it up, you're gonna depress it a couple times until you find the perfect fit for you and you're ready to ride. Once you get to your destination, you want to remove your helmet. What you could do is depress the silver button and what that does is it releases the air that's inside those pads. There's the third. And then this top piece is gonna be all one piece. We're just gonna leave it in and then have y'all take a look at the interior of the helmet. So right here is gonna be the bags for the air fit system and we're just gonna depress. And now that they are inflated, that is what's gonna be behind the cheek pads that allows you just a little bit more of a custom fit. Once you've gotten to your destination, you can go ahead and depress the silver button right here and it's gonna release the air that's in that air fit system. And there it is. And right above the air fit system, may be difficult to see, but we have our Cardo Pack Talk speaker, which fit in there pretty, almost exactly, that it kind of snaps in. Now, taking a closer look at the styling, 
for the helmet, the fabric the fabric around has this carbon fiber appearance and material that gives it that final touch of just a cleaner appearance. This helmet comes in a variety of sizes. Be sure and check out scorpionexo.com for sizing and color waves. Or you could also check out your local motorcycle superstore. Out of the 1500 miles that we've done, ridden it for two weeks, we've thoroughly enjoyed the Scorpion Exo R1 Air. For the price point, I think it is a good bargain, especially for what you get with the clear visor, the smoke visor, and for the pin lock system. If that is still a little bit out of your budget, be sure and check out some of the other helmets. They recently revamped our first Scorpion helmet, which is the Scorpion Exo R420, which we called the Illuminati helmet, which had the skeletal Benjamin Franklin on each side of the helmet with the Illuminati pyramid on the back of the helmet. It made for a really sick helmet. We got tons of compliments on it with a refreshed design of skeletal Benjamin Franklin, but they also have a skeletal Abraham Lincoln. But again, thank you to Scorpion XO for allowing us the opportunity to demo a Scorpion XO R1 Air. We are a fan and we are gonna be picking one up very soon. We just need to figure out what color helmet we should get. We are looking at the white helmets. White helmets speak out to me. I always appreciate added visibility of white helmets. That's it for me, guys. I appreciate y'all once again. Until next time, appreciate y'all. Cheers, ride safe.